What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another installment of On The Mock. By the way, I actually kind of need more entries. I have enough to make about two or three more of these videos, but if you would like to see more or have your mock included, instructions are in the description down below. We have a good variety of mocks to show you today, so let's get started. First off is a guy who makes a ton of wonderful space mocks, Muscovit to Sandvika. Just kidding, obviously his name is Muscovite Sandwich. Wait. What is a Muscovite? Muscovite. Alright, not sure how good of a sandwich that would be, but you know what is good? This mock that I've been showing off in the background. This is the Ulysses spacecraft in 170th scale, and if it looks familiar, that's because LEGO just recently announced a VIP reward of this exact spacecraft. Like a lot of people, Muscovite did not have the reward points necessary, and also didn't really like the look of the official LEGO version. So they sat down, pumped out a design and the instructions for it, and the best part is that the instructions are absolutely free. It's only 167 pieces, so getting the pieces yourself isn't too expensive, but if you want to skip the hassle, I have included this on my website. Muscovite makes a ton of amazing space mocks, seriously do go and check them out if you are a fan of space like I am. Up next is once again, Lieutenant Colonel Vandalor. Last week, he shared some of the military jeeps he made. This week, we have a tank, I think. Look, when it comes to military stuff for me, every plane is a jet, every car is a tank. But this is his deep waiting M4A3W with a full interior. All hatches are able to open and there is room for a full crew. There are turret traverses, the gun elevates and depresses, the breech opens and closes, the suspension is poseable. There are a lot of features on this thing. If I got any of that wrong, I'm sorry. It took them about nine months so far, but they have a bunch of different variations in the work. This particular one is 982 pieces, including the figure. This guy has actually submitted a lot of military things to the point where him and several others will probably be getting episodes of their own. I love that he was able to get those features into something that doesn't seem to be that big, but again, when you look at the minifigures, I guess it is a good size. He also got a lot of details in there, including this, which I believe is the engine. Like I said, he has submitted a lot of things, so we are definitely going to be seeing more of him. Up next is a bunch of mocks that don't really have much information with them, but they were really cool, and the guy was very happy about them, so I wanted to include them. This is from the last Brickbender, and he calls it his Exegol fleet. Because yes, there are fans of the sequel trilogy out there. These are six different ships in all, and I believe every single one of them was designed by Brickbender himself, or at the least modified in some way. I love the look of Poe's X-Wing there. Actually, I mean, I love all of these, but I really do like the techniques used for Poe's X-Wing. I can't tell if that's Inthert's design. I know it's not Jarek's, but the cockpit makes me think it's very similar to Inthert's. Anyway, this is all really, really cool and very well done. I mean this in the best way possible, but the B-Wing really does look like a ship that was thrown together for a rebellion, whether it was the original rebellion or the re-rebellion, which is stupid, but whatever. And I enjoyed episode 9. But I love how slender and how sleek this thing is, and obviously you could tell from other pictures that it's able to move or rotate. If you have followed this channel for any length of time, then you probably already know that the Y-Wing is my favorite vehicle. Sometimes I look at these builds and I just don't know where someone would even start. I know I've said that a lot, but seriously, look at the details and the greebling and the angles and everything used here. And then there's this thing, which I have no idea what it is, but it's probably my favorite out of all of these builds because that curve is just awesome. Obviously, it reminds me of the U-Wing. I think that might have been intentional, but yeah, this is really cool. Up next is a user simply known as Sept, as in, like, September, and they have this micro X-Wing. I am not sure at all how many pieces are included in this thing, but I really like it. As you guys will find out next week, building at a micro scale is actually pretty difficult to do. This is a little larger than the sets I will be showing off next week, but still, I really like how this was done. I love that the wings are able to open and close, which, of course, it's an X-Wing, it should be able to do that. I like how the guns on the side look, and how they even managed to get the engines. All things I want you to keep in mind for next week. 
except if you are watching i hope that you decide to make other micro-ish scale vehicles and if you do please submit them i would love to see them up next from brickmeister is the death of darth tenebris if you don't know who that is looking at this should be able to help you with that really easily. It took them about six hours to build and has about 500 parts, though they do jokingly mention they are pretty bad at estimating. Obviously, this video will be linked in the description down below. Please do go and check them out. I'm actually not going to sit here and talk a lot about this mock because Brickmeister does it himself. Seriously, go and check out the video. He explains how he made this, the whole history and story and everything behind it. The one thing I will say is that I really love that he he uses Big Kid Brix's Darth Plagueis. Big Kid Brix's Darth Plagueis. I don't know why that is so difficult to say. But the link is down below, go and check them out. And lastly is the Brick Bulbasaur. Lots of names with Brick inside, with his epic mini tie silencer mock that fits Kylo Ren inside. Just like Brickmeister, Brick Bulbasaur explains everything you need to know about this mock in his own video, and I would highly encourage you to check it out as well. And that is it for this week. Like I said at the beginning of this video, if you are interested in having your own mock showcased, the instructions are in the description down below. I know it's a lot of stuff about Discord, but if you don't have Discord or don't want to do that, you can send me an email, it's all the same. I have no idea why, but I have been struggling to talk today. Please let me know your favorite mock in the comments down below. I would actually really be interested in hearing your thoughts on all of these builds and other builds. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously, most of my viewers aren't subscribed, it's just a click, it's free. Please do consider doing so. And if you want to send a little extra support, then you can join me at my Patreon like all of these wonderful people who have continued their support. These guys are seriously awesome, especially Jonathan and Project Elements, but, but I appreciate every single one of them. And I appreciate you, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.